Welcome to the August video from the Great Harwood Methodist Circuit. Where two or three are gathered together, I am there also, says Jesus. Let's continue by singing hymn number 24 from Singing the Faith. Come, now is the time to worship. And now, let's pray. Hearts open, ready to receive. Ears listening, ready to hear. Eyes searching, ready to respond. Minds alert, ready to understand. Hands reaching, ready to care. Arms open, ready to hold. Feet moving, ready to go. We praise you, Lord, for this opportunity to worship. But Lord, we don't always listen to you as we should. We don't always take notice of the nudges you give to our consciences. 
the nudge that tells us to phone, visit, just make contact with someone. The nudge that tells us to make that extra effort. You always went the extra mile. Forgive us, Lord, for not always following your path. And help us to get back onto it. For Jesus' sake. Amen. The reading today is taken from Acts chapter 16, beginning at verse 6. They travelled through the Thurgian and the Galatian region because they were prevented by the Holy Spirit from delivering the message in the province of Asia. And when they approached the Mycenaean border, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them. So they skirted Mycenae and reached the coast at Troas. During the night, a vision came to Paul. A Macedonian stood there, appealing to him and saying, Come across to Macedonia and help us. After he had seen this vision, we at once set about getting a passage to Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to bring them the good news. So we sailed from Troas and made a straight run to Samothrace, and the next day to Neapolis and from there to Philippi, a city of the first rank in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. Here we stayed for some days and on the Sabbath day we went outside the city gate by the riverside where we thought there would be a place of prayer and sat down and talked to the women who had gathered there. You may be wondering why Paul and his friends met us outside the city gates to pray. Well, I can tell you, we have no synagogue here in Philippi. To form a synagogue, you have to have 10 Jewish men. And as us Jews are so few in number here in this vast Greek city, we have to meet in this little prayer house by the river. Easy for a baptisms and ritual washing though. One of those who heard us was Lydia from Thyatira, who was a dealer in purple cloth. Yes, my name's Lydia. I'm originally from Thyatira which is in Asia. Thyatira is known for its production of special purple cloth and it's all in the dye. This special dye is made from boiling thousands of sea snails called murex. I can tell you this boiling creates such a stink. But the cloth is made it, the, it makes is quite remarkable. The colour doesn't fade in the sunshine. In fact, it gets stronger. I learnt my trade well in Thyatira. And I brought it here to Greece. It's used to make those robes for the Roman emperors. So I can tell you, it's made me very wealthy. She was a woman who worshipped God and the Lord opened her mind to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and the people of her house had been baptised, she invited us, come and stay in my house. If you have decided that I am a true believer in the Lord, and she persuaded us to go. This 
particular day, there were just a few of us women meeting for prayer when that group of men we didn't know joined us. They were kind and gentle, not a bit like normal men who always seemed to look down on us women. We prayed and then they started talking about Jesus. This man, the Son of God, who had lived around Galilee in northern Israel about 20 years before. I was enthralled. It was wonderful. Talking about love and care. Being a servant and receiving this tremendous gift, the Holy Spirit. All of a sudden, I felt full of love and power and strength and trust. I felt peace, a peace I'd never felt before. And all at once, <laughs> before I could even think about it, I asked these lovely men to come and stay in my home. With plenty of spare room. As I've told you, I am very wealthy. Thanks to this purple cloth I'm able to make. I want to know so much more about this man, Jesus. Let's sing again. Hear the call of the kingdom, singing the faith 407. Then you as a fragrant offering of how God, rich in mercy, came in Christ to redeem all who trust in his unfailing grace. The call of the kingdom to be children of light with the mercy of heaven, the humility of Christ, walking justly before him, loving all that is right, that the life of Christ may shine through us. King of heaven, we will answer the call, we will follow, bringing hope to the world, filled with passion. Salvation in Jesus' name. Hear the call of the kingdom to reach out to the lost with the Father's compassion in the wonder of the cross. And forgiveness and a hope yet to come. Let the nations put their trust in Him. King of heaven, we will answer the call, we will follow, bringing hope to the world, filled with passion, filled with power to proclaim salvation in Jesus' name.
Lydia answered the call when she heard about Jesus in that little prayer room outside the city wall. Paul had wanted to go to Asia when he met her, but the Holy Spirit directed him to Philippi when he had that dream or that vision to go to Macedonia, Southern Europe. He was in the right place at the right time to meet Lydia. He listened to God and obeyed. Lydia, for her part, understood, listened, and then gave her all and did her all when she heard Paul's message. And she became one of the first Christians in Europe and helped to set up a church there in Philippi. We can learn a lot from Lydia. Our prayers of intercession. Let's pray. Lydia listened, heard and followed. Lord, we want to learn more about you. Direct people to us who will help us on the way, as Paul did for Lydia. We pray for all who are lost and hurting, in need of love, support and care. For refugees, for those living with war, the unjustly treated, the bereaved, the unemployed, the struggling. We pray for our world and the destruction we are causing to it. We pray for the leaders of nations as they prepare for the COP26 climate change conference in November. Help them to make the right decisions and us to listen and obey. Lord, hear our prayers. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our closing hymn today is hymn number 611 in Singing the Faith. Brother, sister, let me serve you. Sister, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace 
enjoyed this service and learnt a little bit more about Lydia and purple cloth and maybe whenever you see purple cloth you might think about Lydia and you might think about all she did to start our church in Europe all those years ago. And now a blessing. May the grace of Christ our Saviour and the Father's boundless love with the Holy Spirit's favour rest on us from heaven above. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless.